first Sherlock Holmes games I'll play, maybe it might be my last and maybe I'll actually play more. I know there was a new one that released on Steam, but let's see. Let's see what this is about. I hope it's not oh it's bugging out already, okay. Make your character move faster, press an old R2. That's a cat? That's a frog? Okay. Always oh, loud. Oh dear. We turn it on immediately. Aha. Go. Oh, now we're back at the intro. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. Let's see what this game's about. I oh, I thought that was cat. Never mind, that was a kid. We got some bears up here. Oh, this is a kid going up here. Oh, kids actually. It's two. Turn the audio up again. Trying to find the right audio is a bit annoying, but. Uh, that. Are they running this place? Ah. What's this? Turn it down. Fix it. What's he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, that's literally them on the painting. I just realized. So, how are they going to do this? Why are these kids here? Who are these kids? What's their purpose? That's going to be Watson. Ah. <laughs> ah. Just capital A. Ooh. Is that a sword? Wait, is she holding a sword? Wait. Oh, oh go back. This voicing. <laughs> Maybe it's a book about pirates with a treasure map. So robotic. Oh, are they gonna read the no, stories? I don't think so. And then we're gonna play through them. I wish that I had seen through all your lies. Oh, start from the beginning, not the middle. Stupid. <laughs> And so I decided to pick up my pen to relate the most disturbing episode of my life thus far. It all began early one morning go, in 1898, when Sherlock Holmes invited me to accompany him on a visit to the Marquis of Conningham. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah, is that me? Damn, okay, the, get, the graphics look weird a little. It looked What's all my dear fellow? We can now go and inform the Marquis that we have found the Samoan necklace, and very much faster than Inspector Baines, too, which pleases me. Have you really Game solved the theft, Holmes, and so quickly? I have indeed, Watson, and believe me, it was completely unnecessary to spread out all over London, as our friend Baines thought was best. He likes to boast that his methods are equal to mine, but Baines. once again the outcome no has contradicted him. After all these years of accompanying you upon your investigations, I thought that by now I should be reasonably capable of following your train of thought. But in this particular case, I must admit that I don't understand anything at all. Mm. Ah, you see, but you do not observe, Watson. There lies the difference. It is a matter of course. A matter of course? In the middle of the night, when everyone is asleep, the service bell within that room rings out and alerts the servants. They dress quickly and come running. But the door is locked and there is a strong smell of burning from within. Mm. A few seconds later, the master of the house himself, the robbed marchioness's husband, the Marquis of Conningham, arrives and unlocks the door using the sole key. A fire has started inside the room, but they well, have managed to scene. arrive in time mm. to put it out. It is at that moment that the Marquis realizes that the famous Samoa necklace, which had been safe within its glass cabinet only a few hours earlier, has now disappeared. Mm. In order to explain, let us confirm my theory before the arrival of the fish Bates. tank, though. Up and all. Oh, oh, all right. Can I move? Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, 
So this is a full-on mystery game. I mean, if you know about Sherlock Holmes and stuff, you know it's a mystery we going through. But look at the broken showcase and press X. Okay, so we have. So so far, I kind of want to figure out this my, myself. But you know, like mystery games are always fun. Candle on the floor. It's not candle from here though. Where the fuck did that candle come from? Oh, above. A candle came from above. Fell from above. How did it fall though? It probably got knocked over. Is the guy Spider-Man? Hmm? Piano. I don't know. I kind of want to... I like trying to figure out stuff before it starts. It's kind of fun that way. Screen behind here. Can it move? Nope. Someone could, someone could easily just sit there and hide, to be honest, right? Like, that screen kind of protects them. Put it all the way up against the wall and you've got a hidden cover. Uh, movement's a bit kind of like, oh, I gotta turn and then move. You know, like, turn, then move. Like, I'm already holding forward and it's still turning. Statue, I can't see anything about it. Your eyes in the way. Uh, oh, that's the showcase. And uh, Fire, there's footprints. I mean, look at that, the char or whatever. I don't know what the hell it's called. But, um... Footprints walking all over the place. It's not like the guy climbed through the chimney now, did he? Did he? There's a mark on the glass. I don't know if that's going to be there, but there's a crack mark of the sorts on that glass. These light rays are kind of... <laughs> don't like it. And... There's something... Maybe a person was, could fit inside of here, you never know. I don't know. That actually looks hella small, never mind. Maybe I'm thinking too far. This window was cut with a diamond. A clean, discreet piece of work. This is where the necklace was. See how tiny the hole is, and not one fingerprint upon the window. Oh, is that what that is? Is that what I'm seeing here? Because this is what I... This is what I'm... Oh, what? Validate? The old top one, look. A mark, undoubtedly, made by a diamond. Someone tried to cut the glass, but he was interrupted. Therefore, the thief tried to escape through the window, but mm. he was interrupted. I'm like, that's not a circle. All the windows are locked. They've not been forced. Mm. Locked windows. What about this candle, though? Mm. So he just made a small coat. You could literally bounce to get your hand through and just grab and get it out easily. Why wouldn't you just break the whole thing, to be honest? Oh. What's here? Ah! Oh, what the hell? Match this pocket knife. Oh. This window was cut with see how. Now the piano, some music flaws are on the floor. You can activate an item by pressing. By selecting your inventory. Or oh, directing the game with the one hour one. Oh, it changes it in the Let top. Let us examine the crumpled scores that have fallen off the piano. Look for clues, you say. Well, if I look at it regularly... I'm gonna lie, I have no fucking clue what I'm looking at. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at here. These sooty prints were left by a tiny hand. I don't understand why these music scores are covered with soot. Oh. Bro, my my head hurts a little old fucking now. Six cents. Oh, that's what it is. Not very well kept, this aquarium. I can see a dead fish floating on the surface. Damn, dead fish. This draft screen makes an ideal hiding place. That's what I'm saying. As the theft was committed at night, I conclude that the thief hid himself behind the draft screen and waited until he was alone in the room. Strange, there aren't any prints. 
Yet I'm sure that the thief hid here. Spider-Man, maybe? Oh no, man. The candle, yep. The candle. It must have fallen from the chandelier. That's what I'm saying as well. These documents are not very interesting, even though they're addressed to the Minister of Maritime Affairs. The Marquis himself. Hmm. Hmm. The chest wasn't opened. The necklace wasn't in it. Footprints. You are not going to get on your knees to examine them. There is no need. It is soot. The servants must have trodden in it while they were putting out the fire. Strange. There are some objects here that have been knocked over. Where should that candle broken too? The fire started here, just beneath the bell pull. Whoever pulled the cord would have had his feet in the fire, unless it was pulled before the fire started. Mm. Heading towards his chosen escape route, probably the window, the thief knocked over the stool, which then caught fire. But why didn't he try to put the fire out at once? Hmm. Maybe to cause a destruction, and then when people came in, it was all, you know, fired up. When the servants arrived at the door, having been alerted by the bell, they saw evidence of the theft and the fire, but they didn't see the thief. This door is very hard to force. The Marquis is the only person to have the key. The thief could not get out through here until eventually, when the door mm. was opened by the servants. So he waited, probably fucking, I don't know. Ah, Mr. Holmes, you're already here. Good morning, Inspector. You've arrived just in time. <laughs> Scotland Yard arrives like the cavalry, always in the nick of time. Ah, but I know that satisfied expression, Mr. Holmes. Have you already solved the case? It's possible. We have retraced the thief's rather unusual footsteps. He is a true acrobat. But what I cannot understand is that when the servants entered the room, there was no one to be seen. An acrobat, perhaps, but an invisible one? <laughs> I do not think so. The only explanation is that the thief escaped before the servants arrived. I don't know how, but there is no other way. Half a point for the doctor, nil for the inspector. I'm hmm. pleased to see that you find the situation amusing, Mr. Holmes. Very well, then. Explain. Dr. Watson was correct when he mentioned acrobatics, but he is mistaken about the nature of the acrobat. As for you, Baines, you're quite incorrect, as the thief was in the room when the servants entered. Explain, for heaven's sake, <laughs> Mr. Holmes. <laughs> He's like, Watson, what the fuck? How could a thief be missed in the middle of eight men? I don't know. Blended in. He is very small. Stop teasing us, Holmes. Exactly. Because he is small. Small and remarkably agile. He loves Thinking doing this. A monkey? And a trained monkey at that. Without a doubt, a Leon Topicathus Rosalia from Central America. Oh, what? The animal had been hidden inside the room for several hours. Calmly but on the, the chandelier, maybe. Master. Once night had fallen and the room was empty, a high-frequency whistle alerted the monkey that it was time to begin the procedure for which he had been trained. Mm. The monkey emerged from his hiding place and used That's the why I got caught out the fire. To open the glass cabinet and steal the necklace. Bro, I would he not figure this shit out. The window by the chimney, but knocked over the stool, which in turn knocked aside the fire guard and started the fire. The frightened monkey jumped from the chimney by swinging from the bell pull, thus alerting the house servants. He then went to the window and began to use his diamond to cut a hole, but was interrupted by the staff trying to gain entry via the door, and he panicked again. He ran across the piano, scattering the music scores onto the floor, before hiding inside the chandelier, knocking over a candle. Mm -hmm. Finally. The servants and the Marquis entered the room, How the fuck leaving do you know the door open while they put out the fire. It was during the confusion that our agile little thief made his escape through the doorway. As simple as that. A brilliant explanation. Bravo, Holmes. And the necklace? I can see it from here, my friends. It's right in front of us. 
We have searched the room from top to bottom, Holmes. How were we unable to find it? Because we paid insufficient attention to the only victim of this affair. What victim? No one is dead? Yes, Watson. A poor goldfish oh. whose destiny was to die, crushed by one of the most precious necklaces in England. Well done. The aquarium is just beneath the chandelier. I understand. The little monkey had likely hung the necklace around its neck and lost it when he leapt from the chandelier. The jewels fell into the aquarium. Oh, shit. Remain now. Where the fuck did that? Where did you pull that out from, bro? Get out of here. The guy really should have spawned in. Here is your necklace. Okay, well done. Just a little wet. Mr. Holmes, this brilliant demonstration does credit to your reputation. Thank you so much, Marcus. Do you wish to verify the authenticity of your jewel? No, I recognize it. I have spent many hours admiring it, you know. Good. I will return it to its box and... Inspector, a bank has just been held up. You must follow oh. me at once. Orders of Scotland Yard. What times. Sirs? Duty calls. My regards, Marquis. And well done again, Mr. Holmes. Okay. There, the necklace is in its box. We've lost enough time here. Let's go home, Watson. Ah, very well, as you wish. A good day to you, Marquis. With pleasure, gentlemen. And once again, thank you. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, Leo Buckley's. Okay, interesting. So, I do not know how he even figured any of that out. You know what I was expecting? Like, you kind of draw the conclusion yourself, maybe. You know, like a path to making it up, but I guess not, you know. Oh, well. But it's interesting, though. This is how it functions. I did not know, though, that it would be like this. But if it's like this the whole time, I don't know. I guess it'll get kind of all, I guess you could say. Like, after playing Kratos Tony Chronicles as well, because that one... Yeah, the bit the it takes a whole basis of um the Sherlock Holmes story and uses that as the spin-off series, you know. And if you see me play through that, then you know what I mean, you know. How it uses like each adventure of Sherlock Holmes written in the stories and makes those as the game's events cases for like the uh, court uh, case and stuff. Yeah. But honestly, I think uh this morning's newspaper. Oh, one side Holmes, going have you read this article but honestly, about... I think no, that might be yet, it for me, I though. Have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. Well, this is part going to be. Hold on, I'm going to let them talk first. Oh, they're doing okay. Damn, bro. So much slice of bread. You eating only bread today? I kind of just want to walk around. Oh, look at that. We've got some outside. I like that, actually. But I, I don't know. It's like... I mean, this game looks quite good, right? It's, I feel like if you're a fan of the like whole the story of Sherlock Holmes and whatnot, then you know what? This would be great for you and whatnot, but... Uh, for me, though, I, I don't mind it. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm like a fan of it, but I'm not exactly someone who's big on this sort of stuff that I actually want to play the games and whatnot. Read the paper. Oh my god, it's time to read the paper. I don't want to read it. This is my bedroom. Let's see. Who is that? The queen? That has to be. Is that a model of me in my own room? That's my clothing and stuff. Thick disguises. Oh, I see. That mirror is not very reflective, is it? It looks cracked as all a bit. Paper on the floor. Books and everything around here. This must be AM because... No way, this wouldn't be night. It looks like a daytime, so that's what 8 30. Mm -hmm. Pigeons, carriage, all right. Well, interesting. Anyway, well, I think that will be it though for me though. Violin as well. Ah, yeah, see, here's the thing. So, playing Grace Attorney uh, in that game is called Shorms, Herlock Shorms, like backwards, and it's kind of almost sticking with me with how often it was his name is like that in that game even though his the actual name is Sherlock Holmes 
copyright moment, I guess. Um, yeah, he had this whole violin thing, and I guess that is actually the case of like that was his interest. What is that? Okay, but yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it up there. I'm not really that interested in doing a game like this. It was a nice little experience, but that's really all. It, uh, that's really all it is, you know. It's just a bit of an experience, so.